fun fact. Did you know that Adam Brashear blew marbles 87? Back when he was 22, he was in the Marines. Nine years later is where his accident happened, where he was trying to make a stable anti-monitor reactor. The power countries and shit, but that shit said, boom, explode. Giving both him and the anti-man, Connor Sims, his friend, powers. Anti-man in the back telling them, like I told you, none of you have the power to stand up against me, and I meant it. Then we see Blue Marvel's wife dying, and he tells you, yeah, he's an old enemy of mine. He wanted revenge on me. The world, I hoped I could stop him quietly, but the Avengers wouldn't listen. It turned into a public battle with civilians caught in the danger. My wife was among them. So in this book, right, they was trying to fucking go to the beyond space and shit, beyond eternity and all that shit. Right here is the neutral zone. Blue Marvel can't survive this shit unless he got this suit. The estimated time for this suit is 9 minutes and 15 seconds, right? So they can go fight Anti-Monitor. I mean, the Anti-Man. Blue Marvel says it right here. Hey, Monica, Carol, I like you with me and Carol. If you're going out there, the two of us will need an exploration suit. Monica didn't need that shit because she's living energy at the time. Said right here. So they out here fighting this motherfucker, right? And Blue Marvel's telling us, like, he's too dangerous to be allowed to free, uh, roam free. Even here, we can't let him get away with this shit. So he grabs his ass up and he's like, look, Connor, I told you I forgive you, but I won't. And I, this is where Kevin Brashear comes up, the first person to leave the Omniverse, his son. Kevin got lost in the neutral zone, mutated into a cosmic being. He's sort of a guardian of this place. It's kind of a long story. He came to stop the fight. He was like, but he murdered your mom. He killed her, Kevin. Kevin, he him, killed dozens of hundreds of people. Bro was like, don't look at me like that. He was looking at his dad. He's like, don't look at me like that. He destroyed my life, our lives, my family. Without even thinking, he's like, and how many lives did, did Galactus destroy, dad? As you see, Galactus, who became Lifebringer Galactus. And if you know who Lifebringer is, the one that fought the anti on Lifebringer 1. It's a different subject, though. Anyway, he was talking to somebody, but it wasn't just anybody. It was Eternity. Now, remember, like I said, Blue Marvel and Captain Marvel needed these suits just to survive out here, right? Outside of everything beyond life and beyond death, who the fuck do you see? Thanos. This is past the super flow and past the neutral zone now. They in fucking nothingness, damn near. Look, they tell myself, let's put the exploration suit on. Black Panther said, man, that shit ain't gonna save us. The sheer absence out here is beyond anything we expected. We need to re-enter the Omniverse now, which is eternity. Uh, America Chavez, she was the one that was creating them star uh, portals outside of everything, but the shit was fucking her up and knocked her ass out. You see her nose bleeding and shit. And while this going on, the ship is getting crushed, right? That bitch get destroyed as soon as they go to 0%. Everybody was going to die until Lifebringer popped the fuck up and saved their ass with that uh, spear. He told them, I owe the debt for y'all ass. You would be dead. Or worse, we are outside in the great dark nothing aka anti all the one below all even one such as i cannot exist here long without risk and trauma and yet you came here wrapped in steel <laughs> tell me why they told him like time is broken galactus g we got to try to assess that shit he said man get the fuck out of here g y'all ass is heading to death y'all came here for nothing numbers nah you came here for fire he said i know that a fire inside y'all because i was the same like y'all back in the sixth cosmos and he only did it because it was the peak never scaled, a danger never faced because it was there. Captain Marvel was like, look, there's a legitimate danger to the flow of time. We have to. He's like, all right, you wish to see the flow of time, human? See it with my eyes. Show them the damn flow of time. Behold space time. Go ahead and read this shit for yourself. I'm not finna explain that shit to y'all. Y'all gonna have to get some fucking reading when you watch my videos to understand shit. Anti-Man was like, tell him about the cage. Tell him about the cage. Because this whole time, that's what he kept saying since this motherfucker got his powers. Blue Marvel kept uh, sending him off like, bro, you're delusional, bro. So the motherfucker tried to gal attack a Galactus, right? Galactus is like sleep, sent their ass to sleep. This is where you find out that there's other shit be uh, above a cosmic awareness, like hyper cosmic awareness. Bro had almost achieved that shit. He's like, nah, fuck that. That's when he found out that eternity is chained the fuck up. And eternity say you are outside of me far beyond my range of influence there are truths i can no longer hide but some knowledge that cannot be uh born by pre-cosmic minds to have it spread would risk them uh life bringer you must bear the weight instead basically giving them all the information of, of the motherfucking Om omniverse hey, who the fuck did this shit to you who chained the cosmos she's like that's what the fuck i'm telling you to go find out 
So Lifebringer Galactus uh, opens a damn hole through the nothingness and go back into the Omniverse. Somebody's watching them though. The outcasts wanted to stay there in the absence where there had no meaning. To stay with the new love he found, a love stronger than even death, the love of nothingness. That was Thanos. No suit, none of that shit was just out there chilling. This the same Thanos where he fought death and he stood up against her power and started fucking pushing back on his own shit. You see Blue Marvel right here and he tried to run up and stop the fight. Man, Death fucked his ass up. Death was made by Oblivion. Oblivion was made by nothingness. Of course you finna get fucked up, Blue Marvel. You can't even exist where nothingness is and shit like that. Shown again in Defenders Beyond issue one. When they was going past eternity, motherfucking Loki had to get their ass protective magic. Just and go, they can go outside the beyond. Without this shit, uh, Blue Marvel would have never fought the Phoenix. He would have never fought the fucking Phoenix, uh, the Beyonder. And y'all get my point with that shit. They, they, he can't go outside of fucking beyond without some fucking help, as you see with the damn suit, the damn uh, ship, and this damn magic recently with Loki. Anyway, when Galactus brought them back in that protective bubble, right? His ass leave their ass there. He goes into the super flow. And he's trying to figure out why eternities have changed, the personification of the universe, every universe. So he's trying to figure out who the fuck caged the Omniverse itself and why. Because he is the brother to eternity. Galen, that was his name in the last universe, merged with the dying heart of the sixth Omniverse. This the, uh, she is the eighth Omniverse. Bro, that's when Lord Chaos and Master Order pulled up, right? And they basically wanted his ass to become uh, Galactus, destroy our worlds again, not Galactus Lifebringer. So after a heated discussion of what they wanted and shit, uh, the, the Galactus like, fuck this shit. Bitch, knock this dumb ass. Bro, told him, you, you hit me. He's like, man, our level of combat is metaphor, a clash of ideas. By existing in this form, I damage your narrow systems, your boundaries and category. They lose their meaning. Black Panther had a metaphoric uh, battle with the Tiger God later, but I'm not even going to talk about that right now. So Order tried to put his ass in a box. He break through that shit. Fucking up Order right here. Chaos tried to pull up and smack him with some green shit. All Galactus did was get big as hell and grab his ass. Like little motherfucker. Then threw his ass to him. So be gone. Both of y'all motherfuckers get the fuck on. Tell the other aspects who wish to interfere. Now with uh, Galactus will not regress without a fight. The fuck you talking about? That's when his door popped up and somebody was talking about some, hey, come in. He was like, ah, oh, shit, I know that voice too well and I know to be afraid. It was fucking Molecule Man. He said, it's a being of the voice who can end me with a thought. Thread carefully, Galactus. So they get in there, right? And he's like, hey, sit down for a second. He's like, nah, I think I'd rather stand. He's like, sit your ass down. Bro was like, yes. He's like, all right, have this soda from the 80s. I'm finna talk to you about this shit. We need to talk about eternity. So Thanos is like, tread carefully. He can end you with the thoughts. This is like, what about eternity? He's like, you don't trust me. That's good. You can't trust anyone. So play it, uh, play it close. Be a little cagey, huh? I explain. There's a kitten in this box. Also, a radioactive atom linked to a death ray. If the atoms decay, the uh, kitten's dead. 50-50 chance. So did the kitten die? Black is like the human thought experiment. A primitive understanding of quantum superposition originally meant to. He's like, but... I was lying, see? There's an omniverse in the box, and that omniverse died, but a lot of the lives in it carried on to the new one. New branch, same handle. He's talking about uh, the characters from the seven cosmos came over to the eighth, like Loki. He's from the seven cosmos. He's like, so did the omniverse die? Are we in the eighth cosmos or still the seventh? And he got to explaining how uh, the cosmic aspects, as you can see under me as Legos and shit, are in Discord. They talk a little bit more and shit, then Galactus get up and leave. It ended up with this, they was talking about this story about this dude pushing his rock up the hill, but he can't never push it up because it always go back down and you see these chains and shit. So the next book, they show us the events of the future shit that already happened. Like this is the, uh, the Krakoa shit with all the damn robots beating their ass. And this is the Phoenix getting new life. Blue Marvel put his dude up in this thing, right? He couldn't get out because the thing was keeping him there. Black Panther was like, look, we might have to execute this motherfucker. And right now, I'm not talking to you like T'Challa. I'm Wakanda, and my judgment has been made. Who Marvel's like, fuck that. He's like, hey, as long as he don't get out of line, I ain't got to kill him. And he walked off. Part two later. 